guys and welcome back to the next tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the half treble crochet. That again is a UK term and in the US it's known as the half double crochet. Um, again I'm going to be using a chunky yarn and a 7mm hook purely so that you can see the stitches more clearly. So we're going to start with our slip knot and foundation chain. If you're still not sure how to do this um, watch my previous video, I will leave a link just above um, to the previous video. So we're going to make our slip knot and chain as many chains as you feel necessary um, to practice the stitch. As with the double crochet I would suggest at least 12 to 15 stitches. So we're going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So go ahead and pause the video and create your foundation chain and I will meet you back when that's done. So I've created my foundation chain with 10 stitches. For the half treble crochet the stitch is two stitches high so therefore we need to work into the third chain from the hook. So here's the first chain, here's the second, here's the third. Again, as with the double crochet, if you are confused about which chain to work into, if you hold your last stitch and chain two, you need to work into the chain where your fingers were. So for the half treble, we're going to start off a little bit different. So we're actually going to yarn over our hook first. We're then going to insert our hook into the stitch. You will have three loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through one. You will still have three loops on your hook. We're then going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. Again into the very next stitch, yarn over, insert three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through one, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. Again into the next stitch, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. With this stitch it will become clear quite quickly if your stitches are too tight because you won't be able to get your hook through all three loops on the hook. So just be careful and go slowly. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through one. Give it a wiggle about if it's a bit too tight. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. I'll show you one more time. Yarn over, insert, Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. So if you go ahead and pause the video and I'll meet you back at the end. So I've made my way back along the foundation chain and I have one stitch left. So I'm going to yarn over and insert, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. And that is your first row of half treble crochet. So for the half treble we're actually going to chain two and then turn our work. And just like the double crochet we're going to work straight back into that very first stitch. So we're going to yarn over and insert, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three and again into the very next stitch yarn over, insert yarn over, pull through one 
yarn over, pull through all three. So again, if you'd like to pause the video and work your way to the end. And I'll meet you back at the end. So I've made my way back across and I've got one stitch left. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. So if you want to continue adding rows until you feel you're confident, but just remember that at the end of every row, chain two, turn your work and work back into that very first stitch. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. So I'll add a few more rows and I'll meet you back at the end. So I've added a few more rows. This is a perfect opportunity to show you how to finish off your swatches. So when you get to the end of your final row, you need to yarn over and pull through. So chain one. Then take your scissors and snip your yarn just here. And then just pull your hook. And then just pull tight. And that's the finished swatch. So this is what the half treble crochet will look like. We've got nice straight edges. As before, if you've missed any stitches at the end, you'll start to form a triangle. But these edges are nice and straight. So keep rewinding the video and working as many rows as you feel necessary until you feel confident. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel um, and click the bell button if you wish to be notified of the new videos when they're up. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye bye.